During his address to the thousands of candidates, teachers and parents who were eagerly waiting for the 2019 KCSE results to be released, it was clear that Education CS Professor Magoha had a favorite. So this child is underage, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ezra Kizito was the boy who was announced to the world for his outstanding performance even though he is only below 16 years old. The firstborn in a family of four got an A and managed to be among the top 10 best candidates countrywide. We found him at his parents' home in Nairobi's Langata estate and his dreams just as his wit are ambitious and encouraging. I want to do it in university. I right now Surprisingly, have to make a decision between two courses, either law or chemical engineering, which I am still thinking about. I aspire to study in Harvard University. His parents recalled how at a very young age, Ezra did things that children his age could not. They opted to take him to school at the age of two. So he knew how to do world geography, he knew how to the rivers of Africa, the capital cities, the mountains. So I told him, if anybody harasses him, let them go and test each other around mathematics or English or around the maps. Joining Moy High School Kabarak at the age of 12, he was bullied but managed to overcome the pressure of being the tiny boy that everyone picked on in school by being motivated by the parents and, of course, using his brilliant brains as his shield. The Cabinet Secretary for Education, while releasing results for this year, lauded candidates who, despite their performance in their KCPE, have beaten all odds and done well in their KCSE. After scoring 193 marks in KCPE examination, Joseph Mwangi contemplated abandoning his education and pursue carpentry, but his mother and elder brother encouraged him to enroll in Form 1 at Makui Day Secondary School, despite the principal being hesitant to admit him. And after four years, Mwangi reached for his dreams and scored a C+. And then there were candidates with special needs. A total of 1,672 of them sat the 2019 KCSE examination. Shamala Collins, who floored his fellow candidates in Aquinas High, is one of the special candidates. He not only lives with albinism, but is also partially deaf. All this did not deter him from scoring an A- of 79 points. Uh, I aspire to do medicine uh, in the University of Nairobi. However, his parents, Joseph and Gladys Shamala, worry that their 17-year-old son might miss out on help and other government aid, even as he dreams to study medicine. Robbie Omondi, K24, Evening Edition.